Hey there, I'm Rob, a scientist with Biobus. Welcome to our 15th Explore at Home weekly challenge. Our challenge this week is to use nothing but paper and tape across a span of 12 inches and hold as much weight as possible. So how do you build a bridge? There are many different types of bridges. Since today we're only using paper and tape, we're probably going to use one of the simpler designs for bridges. Bridges come in many forms though. Arch bridges, truss bridges, suspension bridges, and simple beam bridges. There are other types of bridges, even hybrids. But today we're going to focus on building a beam bridge out of paper. Next, we're going to want to think about the shape of our bridge. A single piece of regular paper isn't long enough to go across straight. If you turn it sideways, it might be, but that might not be very strong. We can think about taking paper and bending it to make the strongest bridge possible. But what shape should we use? As you're building your bridge, you can use tape, but be sure to measure how much tape we use so we can keep track of it. Once you've built your bridge, we can test how strong it is by putting coins on top. So how do you measure how successful your bridge was? Well, I use this completely made up bridge assessment metric for paper structures, or BAMPs. Basically, count the number of pieces of paper you used, the number of inches of tape, add them together, and divide it by the number of coin points. What's a coin point? Pennies and dimes are one coin point, Nickels and quarters are two coin points. Ten. So take the number of sheets of paper plus the number of inches of tape and divide it by your total coin points to get your score. For your BAMP score, the lower the number, the better. So to go about doing this challenge, all you need is some paper from the mail, some tape, a ruler or tape measure, and if you have any coins laying around, you can just use those. Luckily, I collect them. Thanks for watching this week. If you try any part of this experiment, please check out the link below and send us your results. See you next week's challenge.